Hello everyone, it's great being here sharing my experience on this new hybrid system for the treatment of scars and skin rejuvenation. So I'm sure you're all familiar with the different indications of CO2 lasers. We use it for the removal of different skin lesions, we use it for the treatment of scars, and we use it for the improvement of skin quality, what we call skin rejuvenation. And while talking about skin rejuvenation, the first laser the first CO2 laser was uh, launched, was introduced into the market in 1963. Then it was ablative, non-fractional, and it proved to be very uh, uh, effective. However, very long time, many adverse effects, and it was very painful. It wasn't. It was an, uh, after 1990 when the non-ablative, non-fractional laser came into uh, the market based on Rooks Anderson selective photothermalizer theory. So we had the uh, higher energy laser and we have new scanners and we have shorter pulsed. So it was an easier treatment. Still, it was uh, 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 associated with very long downtime and adverse effect. I think one of the main milestones was uh, in 2004 when Dieter Meinstein and Ox Anderson came with the concept of fractional photothermolysis theory. So this concept, we have uh, a beam, we have energy which is divided into treated and non-treated areas. It wasn't until 2007 when those lasers were very common, sold and bought and I'm talking about the fractional ablative and fractional non-ablative laser for the treatment of different indications. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new generation of CO2 laser. This is the hybrid system. Talking about scars, and this is my beloved topic, we now know, and I will get into this uh, publication in a uh, in few slides, but we do know that if we would like to maximize our result, we have to combine between few uh, lasers, and we have to um, use what we call laser-assisted drug delivery to enhance the uh, uh, permeability of different drugs into the skin. In the area of resurfacing, it's actually the same. If you want to maximize your result, you should combine between different laser modalities. And if you want to take it one step ahead, you can use sonophoresis, you can use the transdermal delivery in order to push material into the skin. So if you want to have several lasers and sonophoresis, this was the idea that uh, um, pushed ALMA to develop the ALMA, the new uh, Al the ALMA hybrid technology. This is a combination of CO2 laser, of non-ablative laser in the wavelengths of 1570. You can see where, the, where is the location of this uh, uh, wavelength in the, uh, within the absorption spectrum. And, of course, the patented ultrasound technology for transepidermal delivery. We have different applicators for this system, and I will not get into details, but I want to focus on one, the, probably the, the main applicator. This is the POSCAN. In order to explain you and to share my experience, I would like you to understand what we can do with this application. So you can do or you can perform just non-ablative fractional treatment in the wavelengths of 1570. So every pixel will be non-ablative and then depending on the setting, so the power and the on-time parameters, you have different depth and different widths of coagulation zones with untouched epidermis. Of course you can change the setting and then you can be deeper or you can be wider. You can be just ablative, so being fractional ablative CO2 laser. So every pixel will be CO2 laser. And again, different setting will, will look different histologically. And you can play with the energy, with the power, and with the on time in order to adjust the, the setting to the clinical result, to the histological, and then the clinical result you desire. But I think CO2, it is a known 
device and non-ablative fractional laser. This is of course a known modality, but we can combine between those modalities. And here, this is the novelty. So this is the new idea behind this device. So you can first do what we call true hybrid. So every pixel is first CO2 followed immediately by 1570 nanometer. So different histology. And if you have a look, please, here you can see the CO2 alone, low setting, and the 1570 alone. And if you combine it, so every pixel is CO2 followed by 1570, you have a synergistic effect of both wavelengths. You have a different and unique histological pattern and, of course, a unique clinical result. But this is not the end of, of the game. I think the, revol the revolution is the hybrid system. With this system, you can choose every pixel to be different. So for example, in this, uh, in this picture, you can see one pixel is CO2, the second pixel is 1570, third is CO2, so in a ratio of one to one. And then you get this very unique histological picture, which you didn't see before. This is probably the first device with this clinical picture. So you have an area of CO2, you can see the, the histological picture of CO2, and an area of coagulation, this is the 1570. But again, this is not the end of the game. So this is one-to-one -one ratio. You can choose to be less aggressive, so more non-ablative fractional laser or more aggressive and then you have more pixel with CO2. Switching on the device, you can um, uh, have different modes. So we talked about the hybrid, the high grid and the soft lift. Soft lift is just the 1570 uh, nanometer and the pro scan CO2. You have the OSCAR that I will mention in a second for the treatment of cars, and you have free hands in which you can actually play with a device and change every parameter. So again, you can see uh, we have predetermined setting for different indications, so you don't have to memorize, you don't have to remember how to change uh, the setting um, while treating different indications, different patients, different uh, Fitzpatrick types. So let's have a look how it looks. So you can see for every pixel, this is a quick, you don't see it, but every pixel is CO2 followed by immediately by 1570. Okay, so this is quite more aggressive treatment. Okay, and then following by the treatment of the two lasers, we apply different drugs and we drive them into the skin with the aid of sonophoresis. The skin. You can use this device for different indications and for different areas, for example, for the dorsum of the hands and for the neck or uh, the coltage or other areas. Again, different settings can be used, different uh, uh, densities, different uh, power, different on time in order to adjust the setting to the anatomical location. Let's look at the result. This is 12 hours post-treatment, relatively, uh, um, what we say, okay uh, procedure, but this is four days uh, post-procedure. So this is over the weekend downtime. And this is after one treatment. So please have a look at the value of single treatment. There is an improvement of skin uh, in the forehead I would like to share with you, uh, uh, this was one of our first patients, and this is after three full high-grade treatment in a ratio of one to one in the first two treatments and one to two 
In the last treatment, please have a look at the dramatic improvement of skin quality. This is from this angle and from the other angle. Of course, you don't have to be aggressive. So if you want to uh, just mildly improve the skin, this is non-ablative fractional laser. You can see downtime is very, very minimal. This is two and a half hours after treatment and one day later. And again, this is four and a half after three treatment. Please have a look how nice, how uh, the periorbital region and wrinkles were in another patient. Now let's talk about scars, which I think this device will change the market in the area of scar remodeling. Uh, again, you don't have to remember the settings, so you have different predetermined setting for different scars. And if we talk about scars, I'm sure you all know, and I hope you all believe that the question is not if we can improve scars. Of course, you can appreciate this picture. We can improve the cosmesis of scars. The question is actually what to do, when to do, how to do which modalities, and if you choose lasers, which laser to use, or which combination of lasers to use, which company, and if you choose different company and different laser, which parameters, and again, the combination, probably this is the secret of every SCAR expert, because if you wanna maximize your result, you have to combine between physical modalities, chemical, different drugs, and lasers. Which drugs, again, you can inject, the drugs or you can apply the drugs topically, but most of us, and there are many publications regarding the matter, use the laser assisted delivery system in order to enhance the permeability for such drugs, example, 5FU and triamcinone acetonide, but again, the list is very long. Regarding lasers, again, the different scar components should be treated with different lasers. So if you have the red areas, they can be improved by vascular lasers. The hyperpigmented areas can be improved by different pigmented lasers. We have the atrophic areas, which can be remodeled by non-ablative and ablative fractional laser, and I have to say by fractional radio frequency as well. And if you have hypertrophic areas, those can be improved by the use of ablative fractional laser. This was the first time and I had the privilege to be part of uh, uh, the authors and, and part of this very important work. For the first time in writing, it was said that lasers play a major role. They are the first line therapy for the management of traumatic scars and contractures, but you have to have multiple laser types in order to maximize your result, and you have to combine it with medical therapy. Of course, you can inject, but we recommend that in this uh, publication to use the laser-assisted delivery uh, uh, systems or to use the enhanced laser-assisted delivery system, Example, for example, with sonophoresis. So let's talk about scars and with this device, this is a hypopigmented atrophic scar. So this is uh, again the ProScan with one-to-one -one hybrid uh, mode and we apply Bimatopause. This oh. is a, a keloid or what was left from a keloid after a few uh, cryotherapies and injection of 5 few in drums and alone. And this is just CO2 laser followed by the application of um, triamcinolone.
I have a few. This is a widespread hypertrophic scars. This is a burn scar. This is following few treatment. This is a combination of non-ablative fractional laser and ablative fractional laser in two to one ratio. Again, you have all the settings, so we predetermine the setting, but you can play with the setting according to your. Let's have some clinical result. This is a unique case and unique patient. So you can see this is a burn scar. This is the before. You can see the middle picture. This is after flattening of the scar. This is with the pro scan. You can see the setting and the use of sonophores is to drive time cinerona cetonide, 5 fu and tronexamic acid into the skin and following the flattening of the scar we use micropigmentation so this is red tattoo in order to restore the lip shape this is another interesting case this is a, a complication of a surgery so you have uh, uh, a trophic uh, you have uh, uh, um, deformed nose because of this complication so you have an injection of hyperdiluted calcium hydroxylapatite together with the alternating uh, ablative non-ablative and hybrid mode so again different mode in different treatment and while using the uh, just CO2 or the hybrid system, we use the impact in order to drive hyaluronic acid and vitamin C into the skin, and I'm sure you can appreciate the result. So what is the take-home message? We see many patients, and different patients require different treatments. They have different needs, different expectations. So if you want to meet these expectations and needs, you need to have different laser tissue interactions. Which interactions? Again, it can be fully ablative, it can be fractional, it can be uh, just CO2, it can be a combination of CO2 and non-ablative. So again, different laser tissue interaction in order to really maximize result and to meet all needs of all patients. And I'm talking about resurfacing and the treatment of scars. So I promised you a new generation or next generation CO2 laser. So I hope I convinced you. This is a device, this is a system which combines between three technologies, two laser, CO2 laser, 1570 non-ablative laser and uh, the patented ultrasound technology. So with the different applicators, this device, this system can be fully versatile. You can be ablative, you can be non-ablative, you can play with the ablation, non-ablation ratio. You can be fractional or non-fractional, focused or defocused. You can use the scanner or you can use the painting mode. You can be hybrid, so every pixel is CO2 followed by 1570, or you can be hybrid, so one pixel CO2, one pixel uh, non-ablative fractional uh, laser and again different ratio you can use the laser assisted drug delivery or use the enhanced laser assisted drug delivery with the impact so endless indications and you can customize your treatment and have a balance between results and downtime thank you very much